Golf with your friends, Jeremy gameplay, marriage counseling, we're doing it. And we're going to stop introducing ourselves. You guys have no idea who we are, but it, you, you know our names now. are there. They're on the screen. There we go. All right. Am I still recording? Yes. Okay. Miranda said I had to tell the story on the show because it's great, but because I need to explain. Hey, like, comment, and subscribe if you know what I'm talking about before Miranda does. <laughs> I got an email from my grandma. Um, she's getting older. That's true. Um, she got a lot of stuff around the house that she doesn't know what to do with. She doesn't necessarily want to sell it, so she sent an email. The important thing is she said my grandpa has a pipe rack with a few pipes, and she's wondering if anybody wants it. And I was like, cool, I'd take a pipe rack and some pipes. I don't know what that is. I don't I don't understand it. It doesn't make sense to me. Well, okay. A pipe rack. Okay. Right. Okay. What goes on that? Hangable stuff? A pipe rack. Okay. 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 If you have a gun rack, what goes on the rack? Guns. So if you have a pipe rack. Pipes. Yeah. Like pipes that you use for plumbing? Those of you in the comments who have already figured this out, go ahead and just... You know, Please do. Uh, I'm going to be checking all of the comments because I don't understand this. How many types of pipes do you know of? I know PVC pipes. I know lead pipes. I know copper pipes. I know um, there are steel pipes. There are concrete pipes. Round pipes, joint pipes. See, that's why I'm confused. Because what Smoking are you like? pipes. Oh, pipes. pipes. See... See, okay. What? No, I don't let's even see smoke, how. But I want those pipes. Well, okay, that I can understand. I mean, yes. honestly, if I get them, I'm going to go out and smoke hipster bitch with them. <laughs> <laughs> Just stand out on my balcony going. Yeah, Rubber but a good. Day. But I mean, a good pipe though. You you really want to utilize it because you want that experience. You do of good plumbing, which is apparently what Miranda's talking. Well, about. Well, you always want good you plumbing. You want the good experience of plumbing. Always make sure you have good plumbing. Yeah. Eat yourself a whole cucumber with the skin, make sure it's clean, and eat at least two of them. And put it in your pipes. Exactly. So then it comes Start out, everything is all clean. We're still clean. playing golf. Oh, I didn't turn on reset. Pause the episode. Okay, we fixed it. We're going to start now. We're going to Oasis. Yeah, and I changed my color to a dark blue because the red was annoying me. Because Miranda is strong Democrat. <laughs> I don't and know she about says that. All the time she, before bed, she'll get right up into my ear to make sure I never forget. She says, red is dead. Blue is true. That could be a slogan for something. Yeah, um, extreme Democrats. Is it really? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Guess a little part of it was. Uh, oh, oh, rock, right, paper, scissors, right, show. Right, right, right. Here we go. Ready? Okay. Rock, paper, scissors, show. Both rock. Rock, paper, scissors, show. Rock, scissors. I go first. Here we go. Oh, ethnic tunes. Ethnic tunes. Man, and. Uh. 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 uh um, it's Miranda's shot and we're waiting uh, while I'm thinking of something really quick. Oh, yeah. Adele hey, Fitter, that was two weeks ago. Yes. One week. That was a week ago, and but now we're in Egypt, where um, they're primarily Muslim? Uh, ooh. You know what? I believe I, so. Pro I think sure. so. And they're not worshiping Ra still, I know that. Right. Although these glyphs are stupid. Unless they're not. There's a beard. There's two different worms. I can't tell what that one is. It looks like a turtle. I Camera's going nuts. Don't look at my screen. <laughs> Maybe a frog? It might be a frog. Uh, it looks like wheat. A no, drooping the frog flower. One. What the frog a one? Turtle. Snake. Oh, okay. you saw a turtle too, right? It looks like a turtle. Yeah, but then see that hump in the back there that's its back leg oh then and yeah then that's a frog a i think that's a frog that's a with frog. a weird hairdo it's a frog too hard oh isn't there a, uh, where's my goggles you didn't 
They took away my goggles. It's because we're in the desert and there's no water and they're like, why would you need goggles? <laughs> Go ahead. But I am still a pirate. You're a sand pirate. Yar. Pirate of the Plain. Tim Curry was in that. Pirate, pi pirate Pirates of, of the Plains. Oh. Yeah, remember when he walked by the I... television shop and then he pulled out his <laughs> flintlocks. No, his cap and balls. And he was like... <laughs> yeah? I made myself laugh. Yeah? <laughs> if you were, if you were okay, a captain on a ship, okay? Okay. No, it's your go. I went. No, oh, okay. If you were a captain of a ship, a merchant ship, a mercenary ship, whatever... Yeah. When you took aboard a salty wench, oh. would you not say... Arr. Hey there, salty wench. <laughs> Do you want to meet the cap and balls? <laughs> I mean, you know what? I think I would. I think I absolutely would. Oh, hello. Oh, well, hello, <laughs> See, friend. I'm with your cap and balls. You are with, your, with my cap and balls. <laughs> Have you... Okay, uh, so... Hello, welcome back. Now you're with my cap and balls. No. Oh, never mind. I have left your cap and balls. Yeah, consent is important. You know, consent is important. I hate when I say that. It sounds... It's you. I know. I it's... hate when it sounds ingenuine because you say it so nonchalantly because I guess we live in a part of the world where this it is the feels worst. like a given. It's stupid to reiterate, right? Absolutely it is. It's one of those things... Like, I appreciate... Um, like a lot of those people that are trying to teach their children at a very young age of consent of do yep. you consent to this which is fair enough because how else are you going to really teach them I guess well wait are you talking like they're talking to their kids like do they consent to a thing yes wait give me a full example okay um your go by the way yeah oh, I, I just popped up so, um so consent like um do you which no, all kid is gonna like be like, no, I don't consent to chores. But um, do you consent to this particular? I had to snap because Miranda's just talking to me and not shooting. Play the game. We can't have, we can't make these an hour long. You're right, we can't. Okay, just talk and shoot at the same time. Right. Not now, it's I my know, turn. I know. All right, so go ahead. Example. Do you consent to me dressing you with this particular outfit? Some kids will be like, yes, I, I think they Wait a minute, wait a minute. How old are these kids in your example? Uh, No older than eight. Younger than eight? Younger than eight. Younger than eight? Younger than eight, because if you teach so them... So potentially within... four? Yeah. Okay, are we a minute in? Oh, yeah. Fuck that. <laughs> no, that... Okay, no, okay. When I was five... When I was five, we told this story last time, but I'm going to reiterate. Mom, if you're listening, you're not. You're looking up. And I'm going to name drop on this one because she knows it. She's on some website looking up conspiracies about something. I don't care. Um, when I was five, I first found my dick. You understand what I'm saying? Yes. First. I didn't know it was there. <laughs> Why would you? It's a little fucking acorn. <laughs> 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 Not that you've ever seen a little dick. Well, Why yeah. would you? I, I should be the only person who's ever seen a little dick, because I had one. Oh, they show them in movies all the time, though. Little, little babies and stuff? Yeah, a little baby penis. Yeah. Which, because for some reason, that's perfectly fine, but if someone keeps one on their computer, never mind. Don't go with that. Oh. Do not go with that. Stop right there. Yikes. Anyway... No, but I also understand that mentality of like showing little kid, like Game of Thrones. We we're rewatching through it. But don't tell the other story. We got to save that for Tomb Raider. I, we are. Um, we are watching Game of Thrones again, and there's a scene. We're gonna in, if you're in, watching Tomb Raider, you're gonna hear this in about. Uh, in a bit. Well, probably like in three weeks. Probably next time we film. Um, but no, there's the bit where uh, all the kids are bathing in the courtyard of the whorehouse. Oh, yeah. Yep, and there's a little girl that runs. She jumps in the tub. But there's a little boy who's crying, who's standing there, who that is a proper little boy. He's probably like five years old, and he's crying or whatever. That, naked. Naked. Complete naked. Which, you, you know what? Shoot? Yeah. You uh, got to stop talking and not shooting. Talk I was, and shoot. I was still looking at it going, Pretend you're in the NRA. Does... Give give no give no cares to anything. Yes, but there, there aren't shoot. children anywhere. We might have to cut that. Nah, it's fine. Listen. I, 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 where, which hole is it? 
Is it this? <laughs> Which hole is it? Like, I've never heard that one before. <laughs> but is it this one? I don't know. I've never been here before. This is Egypt, and I don't have my passport. Uh, <laughs> huh? I think it is. Okay. Yes, okay, it's this one here. Try harder. Ugh. You gotta bounce off the wall. You gotta bounce off the wall. Hit the wall. You want me to show you? Yes. I'll go first to yeah, show you. Yeah, please. You've got to be like the wildlings. And bounce off the wall. Whoops, daisy. But yeah, you bounce off that and then you go up into the top area there. And then you go over and you jump off the top into that other area. Bounce off the wall. Okay. How? Uh, I went full. That wasn't. You went, you went full? Yikes. I, I went full, which was I think was a little too hard. Okay, so I'll I'd just shoot go. straight down the middle at it. Okay. Straight down the middle. Yeah. Ooh. Anyway, so yeah, and then, um, right, yeah, so we've been watching that, and I don't want to. Okay, got it. Here's the thing I get why it's illegal. I absolutely do. Mm -hmm. However, even if it is illegal, but somebody's into it. Putting it in a TV show enables them. You see what I'm saying? It, it does a bit. Yeah. Well, it's also similar to, and from what I've seen from it, it uh, I understand the popularity behind it. Shoot. But I also don't. Boy. Um, this is going to go a little hard. Um, Handmaid's Tale. You're going to tell all of our stories, but go ahead. Well, not all of them. I can go ahead. These. No, no. Uh, Handmaid's Tale. I, I don't understand why it's popular. I understand, but I don't. I asked her too. She was watching. And I said, "Explain the intrigue to me. Why do you like this?" Yeah. Come on now. Shut. Come on, button. Is it B? Teresa? Yeah. yeah, it is. Okay. No, I was hitting it. You're gonna keep being an insane person. I can't go anywhere. You're out. <laughs> okay. Let me show you how it's done. Hey, uh, okay. Oh. <laughs> <clears throat> Let me show you how it's done. Hear those peacocks? I do not. Okay. Um, right. So she's been watching Handmaid's Tale, which I, because when she was watching it, this sucks. This yeah. whole sucks. See? <laughs> um, when she first started watching it, I wasn't watching it. And I just asked her, I was like, explain what it's about to me, please. And she did, and I kind of threw my eyebrows up like, you watch this? But I also have like a weak stomach. Continue? I have a weak stomach towards a lot of like questionable things. I can get through Game of Thrones. Well, in a way, it's because it fits. But I think Handmaid's Tale is too... Oh my god. I know, this is the worst hole. I can... I'm, I'm having an aneurysm. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> I just keep hitting the wall and bouncing you off. Hey, if you guys made this in your first try, like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> Great. So do we have to redo this entire game? No, that? we're just moving on. Okay. Technically, our scores are tied still, except for that 14, so we can just pretend it didn't happen. All right. Off you go. No, okay, because it, to me, Game of Thrones feels like it fits more, because it's, it's still fantastical. Handmaid's Tale feels like... I mean, it's too so, real. Well, Game of Thrones, it fits in the context in which the story is told. Yes. 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 And I understand that for Handmaid's Tale, that's all the story is about. But... But it's... Uh, a, it's. I mean, I watched that one scene... Whoops. ...of which it's been out for a while. I watched the one scene where the dude got his arm amputated and... and, and I, in Handmaid's uh, Tale? In Handmaid's Tale. Oh, God. Um, I physically gagged... Shoot. No, wait, it's my turn. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Off we go. <laughs> did you make it though? No. <laughs> uh, right. Yeah. Because I, I it did. was a full like 127 hours, where apparently the point of that scene was to show how awful it is to cut off a limb. Yeah. No shit. Yeah. It, it it really was just one of those of. You don't use those angle pieces. Go for those triangles. The tri yep. Yeah, that one. Well, too late now. Yeah. But I mean, that's not the point. When she explained to me the plot of. Handmaid's Tale, I was just like, this is something people watch? Mm. Why? And moreover, it gets to the point of oh my god, please cut to my, don't shoot. 
cut to my screen here. You see it? You see him over there? You see him over there? I don't know. Oh, we'll get to it. No, you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. You may shoot now. Okay. Um. Right, so yeah, hand me... Somehow you went down a different hole. Huh. Um. So yeah, when she explained it to me, I was like, why is this something people watch? And it goes back to, since we're talking Game of Thrones... Um, uh, is it you? No, I'm done. Oh. When you watch Game of Thrones, I remember it was the end of season... Four? Well, season five was... Battle of Bastards. That was the Battle of Bastards. Yeah, so it must have been four. Or somewhere in four. Yeah. Uh, this hole also sucks. Mm-hmm. There you go. Shoot for the pillars. Like, just off the side or the farthest you one? You see those smooth parts. Okay. On the pillars, that yep. those edges. Yep. Hit those. No, no, no. The edges. The smooth edges. Right. So Game of Thrones season mid five or whatever when. Uh, not that one. I'm not gonna pretend like it's spoilers. The series it's been not, out for years. Yeah. When Ramsay marries Sansa, which she doesn't want to do, and then he takes her into his bedroom and he does a thing with her, and I remember when that episode came out, there was an outcry. Like, people... Well, you got lucky yeah, there, didn't so you? so got lucky. Jeez. <laughs> and there was an outrage, right? Yeah. People were furious at this one particular scene that happens to Sansa, because they're like, that's not okay. And I agree. That's not okay. However, why was there such an outcry for that? And that scene, like, it was so horrible... But here you are making mostly an entire show that revolves around the same concept. About now you have women in this dystopian future who are breeders mm -hmm. against their will. Mm -hmm. And that show wins Emmys. Yeah. When that's pretty much the theme of the show. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You watched it. I did, yeah. I genuinely stopped after um, the main character. It was the episode before the season finale. I stopped watching after she gave birth in that scene because I genuinely... Did they show the birth? They showed the process. They didn't show, like, um, a percoochie because that's well, gross, I mean, but... they didn't use a stun cooch? No. But, like, the whole... Like, they played hey. out the scene like it was gross and awful and in ton well, of pain and stuff. She, she was mostly just screaming. They did flashbacks of when she was giving birth to, like, her first kid. Um, and she was in front of the fireplace. It was dark. But the, personally, me... I mean, there's... The only video that I actually have ever not been sickened by was there the was sand. what go in the sand don't go in the sand I'm <laughs> trying to trick you <laughs> um there was a nurse she was on her way to the hospital to give birth and she had to she gave birth in the car she delivered her own baby which where'd you see this um it was on a show called right this minute and it was uh, like a real show like a real show. Man, that's yeah, so... <sighs> because the husband was, was fascinated because, you know, some dudes are like, oh, hey, like, because some families are, are interested in, hey, we're going to film the whole birthing process, blah, 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 blah. Which, you didn't see anything. All you saw was her looking down. She was doing the proper thing. She had the proper angles on herself. Like, it wasn't distasteful. Oh, you mean like the way they do it in fiction? Yes. Where they try to make it seem awful on purpose. Right. Yeah, she actually seemed, it was one of those of, yes, she was breathing, she was doing everything she could, and it was like when uh, Terry Irwin was giving birth to Bindi, where it wasn't gross. Yes, I saw that. How about that? What kind of a reference is that? Um, those of you who watched a lot of Crocodile Hunter, you'll remember they that didn't. episode. Crocodile Hunter ended 15 years ago. Yes, but I remember watching that. So, Crocodile Hunter was a show <laughs> for all you kids watching, because you're not, because all we do is make 40-year-old references. <laughs> um... <laughs> Crocodile Hunt. Yeah, I know. I'm going to go now. And I'm going to get in that hole, too. Uh, <laughs> gross. But in context with what we're talking about. So Crocodile Hunter was a show that ran for a while. It was an Australian guy, Steve Irwin. Um, he was the Crocodile Hunter. But he was... He worked at the zoo, right? That was his sanctuary. His and his dad created right. that sanctuary. Um, and the theme of it was mostly... Yes, he went around the world and had different adventures. But what he kind of did at his job was when there was... He lived in Australia... Mm -hmm. Where are you going? Mm -hmm. I'm Steve Irwin. I'm from Australia. I'm not going to do that. I'm no. <laughs> um, and what he would do is he would go around. So when there was a problem crocodile in an, er in an urban area or somewhere developed, he would just go. They'd catch it. 
and then he would just move it to his sanctuary. Yes. Where they took allegedly, apparently very good care of him, and they just moved him there. And it was like, well, now these crocs live here. They're not a danger to themselves or anybody else. And that's good. Yeah. And that's a good thing. And his cause was very good, and he was educational, more or less. Absolutely. I mean, oh. he did. Off you go. I see him. You see him now? I yeah. see him now. <laughs> We're getting closer. <laughs> Off you go. Is it, is it really me? Yeah. Oh, no, it's okay. me. I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm, it's I'm, you. I'm so see? happy to talk about Steve Irwin. I Crap. I loved Steve Irwin. I love watching Crocodile Hunter. Well, yeah, because it was actually super educational. Well, it was Although, fun, too. Here's the thing about education, right? Yeah. You can't do an educational show where he does a lot of stuff, and then at the end of it, he always says, but don't do what I'm doing. Yeah. Because now you're like, well, I'm definitely going to go out and pick up a snake. Hunt. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I got it this time. I got time out this time. Here I go. Here I go. Here I go. Ha! Um, anyway, so that's what we were talking about. We got totally derailed. So Steve Irwin's wife was Terry Irwin. Yes. And she was she worked at his sanctuary with him. Mm-hmm. She was also very good at it. And then her first child was named Mindy. Bindi. Bindi. Bindi Irwin. Y'all because know Bindi Irwin. She had to She has take, her own show now. Uh, she does. She and her brother. Yeah. And her husband. And she just recently she's had a... She's married She's now? married. She recently had a little girl. And their little girl's adorable. I'm too old. <laughs> and You're his shot. son, his son looks just like him. Oh my God, spitting image, spitting goddamn image. Shoot. I know, I'm genuinely just analyzing the shot. That's right fine, now. but let's talk more synthahol. <laughs> Please just go. Reviving a really old bit. Oh, if she were a woman, she would know where the course goes. Not no people know that. I did a double bit there, you see. I did. Yeah. Not even my bit. Ha! Whoops. Where do you go? Slow and steady wins the race. You can't jump that. You fool. You don't know. You fool. You fool. You can't just reset. Hey. Hey, you dick. Okay. Resetting is for when you're stuck, not when you're an idiot. Then you can go twice. Why would I want to go twice? I'm winning. I don't need no help. Nice. Dang it. Cool. I was Welcome gonna right bounce back. off on hey. that. How are you? Hi. Eh. Slow and steady wins the race. But yes, uh, Steve Irwin's son Jan, like, looks just anyway, like Anyway, the point him. is, this all comes back to Miranda, who apparently watches people like to be born, which is gross. Don't like I to respect be born. any woman. I respect the will to bear a child. A, couple thoughts on that. Okay. Humans gave up the ease of childbirth 100,000 years ago when we evolved to walk upright. We did. Yeah. yeah. It made our pelvis shrink. It's your shot. I'm closer. Made our pelvis shrink so that gap is not wide. Not that gap, the other one. Between right. your pelvis. Right. Which makes, that's why birth is so difficult. It shouldn't be. I've watched a few documentaries, and I hate when they do this, when they sneak an animal birth on you. God, I hate that. Because I think it's all gross. I think the placenta is gross. Everything else that comes up. Oh, you didn't make it, huh? Nope. I'm going to drink. Oh, I didn't make it either. Hey, my raft is purple now. Watch me. Watch me. Bye. <laughs> um, and I hate that. I watched one where they filmed a sea lion giving birth. Okay? Ooh. And here's the gross thing about that. Okay. They give birth the back way. Their tail comes out first, right? Uh-huh. The mother sea lion, just like as soon as the back flippers in the tail out, she bends over. Mm-hmm. Bites it and just yanks the whole thing out. I mean, it's efficient, but freaking gross. Yeah. Anyway, so mm, childbirth is gross. I hate to find it. It's it's just gross. But I respect any woman who wants to commit to doing that. Bravo for you. You're the only ones who can. So if it's not you, it's nobody. Right. But oh man. Yeah. And so why did I bring this up? Right. So. Uh, uh, human women should have cesarean sections. I, 
I mean, I agree. I think it'd be better. And anybody that tries to sass and say that's not a real birth, um, blow it out your ass. How yeah. about? Maybe that's just like, hey, no, I'd really rather just Again, do it that way. that's fine if you want to, but equality is choice. Yeah. And the choice to not do that should not be shamed by other women who are the most toxic force against feminism ever. We really are. And that, and I've always, always been on about that. It's one of the most shameful things to our growth as a gender, really. Where, like, there are plenty of dudes that hold each other up. And yeah, some dudes are like, well, that's not manly, well, I've seen but. dudes holding each other. Go ahead. <laughs> but, like, if you think about it, because I've actually always been on about this, of, of, you think about royalty, and you think about kings taking on... Oh, Shoot. God. Shoot. Um, kings taking on concubines, just be like, yo, um, I still, I still want to have fun, happy fun times while wife is preggers, because, I mean, I was I just, just meant... do. Yeah, because I just do. Oh, my God. <laughs> Which, realistically, wasn't until, like, what, like mid 1900s? That so were just like, hey, we should really stop multi wives. I have no idea. I've never. But it really that. wasn't that long I've ago. Never been told I could have multiple wives. Well, according to the state, you can't because it's a taxing thing now. Oh, that's right. That's really what it is. In which, marriage is awesome. I enjoy being married, but at the same time, I understood. I understand what marriage used to be. I really do. It's one of those things where. Marriage wasn't a, oh, that's so romantic and loving and blah, 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 blah. Marriage started as an exchange of property. Right, because females were property. Women. Yeah. Girls, mostly. Yeah. Different times, man. Not that that makes it okay. No, not at all that it makes it okay. Um, why did we start talking about this? Because a Handmaid's Tale, once her name gives birth. Oh, right. You stopped watching it. Yeah, that was I because well, it couldn't. Why is that show okay? Yeah, why is uh, that show okay? But that episode where you don't see it is completely implied that Sansa is having an awful time by Ramsay. You can't say that. Why do you think I've not been saying that the whole time? Sansa is blank. Don't say blank. What should I say? Well, certainly not giggle time. <laughs> Just put in Sansa is having an awful time. With Ramsey. Yeah. Um, all right, wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for this. Good spin. luck. There we go. Fix. And that happens, and there was an uproar. Yeah. Internet took off. They were like, "This is so inappropriate." You can't I'm not gonna this watch this anymore. But this broke me from the show. Why? Well, it's no Ed Sheeran, but. Oh. Fuck off about that. Boy, we're real cursy this episode. Are you gonna shoot any time, or what's your problem? <sighs> nice, nice. You waited all that time. What are you doing, man? I'm trying to time it. Call up Neil deGrasse Tyson, your personal astrophysicist, and be like, Neil, how the hell do I do this, man? If anybody knows how to get in touch with Neil deGrasse Tyson, you go I ahead and ask him how we, how the hell we do that. How would you get a hold in one on this level? He'd tell you. He'd say, the first thing you need to understand is the universe plays by its own rules. All astrophysics is, is trying to write down those rules. What is this? You want me to go first? I'd go first. <gasps> you want okay. me to go first? Ready? Uh, sure, go ahead. I'll go first. Yeah! Yeah! How? You bugged through that. No, you get lag on your screen. Also, the universe works by its own rules. And astrophysics Damn. teaches you how to understand those rules. And then Chuck Nice coming in is like, man, all I know is that if they're gonna have rules, they need a referee or something. Because I'm tired of everybody coming up and they're like, you broke the rules, you broke the rules. Man, come out here with a flag or something and you tell me when I'm doing wrong. <laughs> I think he's really funny though. I like Chuck Nice. Yeah. yeah. He, he, he seems like a nice enough fellow. I suppose, yeah. <laughs> I don't know him personally, but he's a great co-presenter. Okay, so is it my go or you go, your go? I think it's yours. Okay. Oh, you're one of those people who zooms out way too far, huh? Oh, I just recently found the zoom. So, so 
Yes. Follow that. Wee. Bonk bonk. Okay. How about this again? Wee. Bonk bonk. I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Wee. Oh, I have a story. Do you? I do. Okay. You want to share? I would. So I was at the grocery store the other day. Oh boy. Yeah. Um, and Make sure you don't give specifics like last episode. I will not. I was at the grocery store the other day. Mm -hmm. um, Women be shopping. <laughs> Got that one out. Yeah. And, uh, nice. okay. Nice. And, uh. And, uh, there was a older lady with her, with her granddaughter who there were. Think? Oh, it was. How do you know? Because uh, the little girl kept saying grandma. Oh, well, that. And yes, she oh, was she Go was ahead. adopted. Um, Get it in the mouth. That's so a little girl said. with her grandma. With her grandma, and the grandma was in one of them little carts, and uh, it's about to the close. scooters, right? Yeah, and the scooter thingy. Yep. And they're shopping. However, women be shopping. However, there was a, another lady who was just off to the side on her phone checking her grocery Can list. Uh, no, I went um, just a little bit above the final tick. So. A little bit more than three quarters. Yes. Wah. Thumbnail. Oh, he's up there. Yeah. I'll get it. Okay. And uh, she just kind this of. This one's angry. Yeah. And Jeez. yeah, all right. Anyway. And she, um, I would personally say rudely, nicked the side of this other woman who was checking. Yes, she was on her phone, but she was checking her grocery list. Of which you can tell when you look at the phone, then you oh, look the around. Woman, the cart hit her. The, the woman in the little um, scooter thing hit her. And the granddaughter, and the granddaughter was like, "Excuse us." And it was just like, and the woman on her phone was just like, "I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to be in the way. I didn't think I was in the way. I tried to make sure I wasn't." And she left, and that woman and I had a moment. We looked at each other, and we were just like, "Okay, but use your words though. Say, uh, hi. Mm -hmm. Excuse me." Yep. <clears throat> I was like, so, oh, that was kind of rude. I don't want to rudely just paraphrase this story, but I went out into the world and found out people are asses. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Basically. Oh, this is terrible. And I'm going to go ahead and say this being someone who is not myself personally, but has known people who are closely. Mm -hmm. cool. Being disabled or otherwise is not an excuse to be an asshole. Absolutely not. Yeah. It was like, oh, I just want people, you know, I may be disabled, but what I want most is for people to treat me the same. Well, then you fucking treat people the same. Yeah. God. Absolutely. That Like, that was what, so rude of that yeah. woman. And, well, even, and her kid. And her kid. Where it's just like, yeah, where it's just like, this kid has been literally touching everything in the store yeah. and whinging about shopping, but mm -hmm. wanting to shop. And yet here's grandma saying, well, this is what we need for this. Well, I don't like that. Okay, Too but we're new to that. cereal. Hey, a little bit. Where it's like, kid. Chill. Hey, oh, my God. Calm down. Wow, it's all the way over there. Oh. I'm going to zoom way out so I don't do this. Why? Thing. God, okay. people are going to hate that. I like how this environment's 3D, except for that fire, which is clearly an effect. They pill up, they pill, pilled, peeled. they pulled that fire effect on those torches out of a lat. Totally did. Yeah. <laughs> wow, that's a long way off. Yeah. Okay. So <sighs> hard. Interesting. Bye. <laughs> I guess I don't have stories like that because I don't go out anymore. Yeah. The only story I have like oh. the only story I have remotely like that is that one time we went to SuperCon. Oh yeah. And that old dude kept walking around and totally criticized everything I did because he's like, "You remember when people used to write things meaningful, like political cartoons?" Oh my god, right? Political and cartoons. Just like looked through the entire portfolio, was sort of rude, and then left. Yeah. It's like, cool man. Appreciate it. Yeah. Why don't you ever draw anything besides superheroes? Because I'm at a superhero convention. Idiot. Woo! Oh, yep, that's Aladdin fire. <laughs> it looks like it, too. I know. That's why I keep saying it. 
fuck that. Mm hmm. Oh, don't touch it. It's hot. <laughs> Maybe it's a sphinx. What's that? The glyph. <clears throat> oh, could it. be. Oh, it's bumpy over all here. The, all the way, or? All the way. Well, you're closer than I was, though, so you're not all the way. Well. I don't like giving you the power to reset. You use it too often. You gotta let I it, don't want it to bug again. You gotta let it bounce out. I thought that said 30 strokes. No. That's not even possible. Not in this game, anyway. Yeah. You're doing terrible. I had that first one. I almost had you. Well, this game. yeah. But almost doesn't count. They don't care. They don't ask how. They ask how many. Mm. I'm going to start going. Mordor. I'm... I'm so, you gotta just go, Mortar! man. Nice. Did you get there? Nope. Okay. How was that one? Better. Oh, good. Yeah, still landed on the green. But I know about the universe, Neil deGrasse Tyson, so watch me go now. Ready? Oh, okay. Yeah! Are you on the green? Yeah. Physics! Physics, physics, physics! Good show. Yes, the show Physics. On TLC. Yeah, right. TLC has an intelligent show. Shot fired. Isn't it weird that it's still called the Learning Channel? When I all you're know. learning is how weird people are. Right? And I'm not really entertained by that kind of show. Mm -mm. And we've been on this rant before. If you're going to keep making shows about it, doesn't that make it more tolerable? You know? Ooh. I understand that a lot of what they're dealing with is psychological disorder there is there, there is something wrong there mm -hmm. it's not like oh they're just different no 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 there's something wrong there yeah but uh yeah doesn't doesn't making a show about it just kind of make it like it's more acceptable like you remember when hoarders was the thing and everybody's just like if i become a hoarder i'm on tv no that's a psychological disorder yes it is you need a licensed therapist yes, you need you do. help yeah absolutely not, not to be on TV, then have people watch and go, oh, God. Yeah. That makes it worse. You know, what was the name of that one that we sat uh, with one friend and we watched at his place? It was just like weird addictions or something like that. Yeah, strange addictions. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That show's messed up as well. Dude. I'm it terrible. took you 12 shots to get here? Yes. You keep hitting that reset button too fast. It's hard to track. You're too impatient. Yeah. This is why I don't play golf. Well, be mostly because you're a woman. <laughs> yeah, strange addictions. I. It was like this whole segment where it's just like, I like to eat the stuffing out of pillows. That's not a strange addiction. You're a weirdo. Yeah. That, that to me, that to me is almost like a gimmick where you just. Like, I'm totally going to do this thing because this is what's going to get me on my strange addiction. Yeah. And it's just like. No, don't do that, mm -hmm. though. That's bad. Yeah. Of which you're going to have a psychiatrist come in and go, and even like showrunners, producers even, just come in and go, this isn't an addiction. You, Which, in a way, it almost is, though. I'm addicted to being on TV and being seen, I suppose. You're addicted to being an influencer, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Well, okay. All right. If that's what it takes to get on the show, I'm going to go out and I'm going to buy, buy a bunch of uh, horned lizards but I'm always going to put one in my pants whenever I leave the house. Not so he'll squirm around. I don't want him to squirm around. No. I just want to do it, and then I can be on TV. My weird addiction. I keep putting lizards in my pants when I go outside. Yeah. I'd like to be on TV, please. Yeah. I just always hearken back to that exact same meme. In all forms except physical, I am a wolf. Hard mm -hmm. cut to Michael Jordan. Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I can think about. Yeah. It's just like, hmm... Yeah, but no. Yeah. Which becomes like a weird conversation because we're now, you know, we're well and about time into the age of fluidity, of uh, gender identity, and trying our best to get to the point of acceptance. Mm -hmm. But I think that's different. That, to me, 
is a is a fantasy, a genuine fantasy, mm -hmm. attempted to become reality because you just maybe your parents just didn't talk to you enough to be like, no, nope. no. Nope. Oh, I guess it goes deeper than that, though, doesn't it? Yeah. Let's talk about, I can't believe I'm doing this because it's somebody else's staple on their show, and if you're here, you know who I'm talking about. Diaper fetish. Oh, yeah. So, okay, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm exploring it even further, because in all forms except physical, I am a wolf. Well, deep inside, my form is a child, right? Mm. Yeah. Or is that just where it stops as a fetish? Or is it more than that, like you're doing it the whole time because that's how you believe you are. What are we doing there? Golly, yeah. I mean? Yeah. Because now I'm like, ooh, that's, that kind of carries a different tone, though, when you think about it. It really does, yeah. Did you go right or left? I went right. Hey, Miranda? Yep. Which way is Mordor? Left. Mm. Let me show you. It had a really cute sound effect when I fired off there. Yeah. <laughs> Pew. I don't know who's first, so we'll just take turns. You go. What people are going to love that way zoomed out screen of yours. I know I do. Nice. Hey, I did it. Use your physics. Crap. <laughs> Just rolling around. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, I see ya. Yeah, I, I went around there. Here we go. Here we go. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. Ah! Dang oh. it. <laughs> um, so we kind of wandered off that, but yeah, now I'm sitting here going like, oh god, how do you measure those two? Mm hmm Yeah, I don't, I don't think I'll ever understand that particular fetish or kink. I understand part of it. Yeah, there, there's a slight understanding, but also that sense of... I think that that takes it a couple steps too far. Agreed. Um, but I understand part of it, and that's why I think it's considerably more popular amongst men than women. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, because let's just call it like it is. Most men my age and around my time, the majority of them did not get enough hugs. No. Nope. Which then... I totally get. Uh, Lady Demetriscu, Mommy Milky. That's somebody else's bit, but I'm taking it because I love it. And I know someone who doesn't. And guess what? This bit is for you. And you know who you are. So I get that. Yeah, uh, mommy Milky. Uh, big fucking titties. Because that's kind of what we're looking for. Is just like, boy, I didn't get enough hugs. I really kind of miss being nurtured. Mm. being cared for like that and so yeah i i kind of get it right but that's like one step too far yeah i would never i can't i'm terrified to be old and out of control of my body in the dreaded fear that someone else is gonna have to take care of my poop yeah 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 absolutely and i just i just am mm -hmm. i already don't like it yeah and that's me i should like it the most Right. I should be the most accepting of my own poo. Right. Yes. 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 Okay. <laughs> and I don't. Yeah. Every time I'm like, oh, God, this is a thing again. Yeah. Every day. Which you should always go every day. Once a day, at least. Yeah. That's healthy. And I'm tired of parents not telling their kids that. Parents, if you're parents, please encourage your children to poop once a day. Yes. Just please do. It's a healthy habit. It gets into it. And it's it's better for them. Children are constipated all the time because they're scared to poop. And, and that needs to stop. God, yeah. We're just going to end this on a PSA about poop. Apparently. Yeah. <laughs> so go ahead and throw that graphic in at the very end. You know the one, but just the more you poo. The end. Goodbye, everybody. Bye. Thanks for joining us. Jerry, run it. <laughs>